I'm a full-time student with a part-time job that doesn't pay super well, so I'm on a tight budget and I'm gonna spend $530 on a watch. Seems crazy, I mean, why spend over half a thousand dollars on something that just tells the time? Well, there's a few reasons, the foremost of which is productivity, then fitness, and finally security. How on earth is spending $530 on a watch going to increase my productivity in any way? Wouldn't it do the exact opposite as it's just another screen to look at and waste time? Well, with Apple's screen time app getting more and more sophisticated, allowing one to sync devices across the iCloud and set limits on certain apps at certain times, it came to my attention that I'm spending way too much time on my phone. So how is an Apple Watch going to help at all with this? Well, with the screen time app telling you what time one uses their phone, I realized that I'm using my phone way too much in the mornings right after I wake up. I would go straight for my phone, which I believe is a really bad habit, especially when one considers that to me, the morning is the most productive time of the day. This is obviously subjective. So I try to just leave my phone by itself until I get back from the gym. However, this didn't work as I always grew paranoid that someone would need to get a hold of me and I wouldn't be able to respond as I I wouldn't have my phone. And this is where the Apple Watch Series 6 cellular version would come in. It would allow me to wake up, put it on, go for a run, and go to the gym without having to touch my phone as it would notify me if someone important needed to get a hold of me. However, it would move the distractions that come with carrying my iPhone with me in the morning such as Snapchat or YouTube videos. Moreover, how is spending a small fortune gonna help me with fitness? Well, it may seem obvious as Apple has pretty heavily marketed the fitness tracking capabilities of the Apple Watch. However, the answer is a bit more complicated. I used to compete in track, so I only focused on running, and for that I had a Garmin. It worked phenomenally for its purpose. However, now that I'm pursuing other athletic endeavors, I need the watch to track more in-depth medical data like heart rate, resting heart rate, total number of calories I burn in a day and the time I sit in a day. Moreover, in the recent months, Apple has really stepped up their health app on the iPhone. It now tracks your sleep when combined with the Apple Watch, which is a metric that's very important to me. Next, it may seem strange and far-fetched to justify spending this amount of money with something like security. However, with me trying to leave my phone so it doesn't distract me when I'm working, I often find myself misplacing my phone. The watch will allow me to find my phone through making it beep. This can obviously be done by making someone else call you. However, I often find myself alone when I lose my phone, so I cannot tell anyone to call me as no one is around and I waste a long period of time looking for it. And finally, this may seem strange as I made a video describing why I regret getting the Apple Watch Series 4. However, with my athletic endeavors changing and Apple improving their software, most of my gripes have been met. Like, for example, they now added a brighter always on display. However, Apple has yet to release a case that I could use for when I'm cliff jumping or kayaking to keep the watch safe as I fear the watch may get permanently damaged. There are obvious options on Amazon, I've just had bad experiences with them in the past. However, with new products always being released, hopefully there is a case that will meet my needs on this second party market. In conclusion, I made this video to describe my thought process in purchasing a watch at a seemingly absurd cost and to hopefully help you decide whether you should get one as well.